The rivalry between the Prince of Wales and the Duke of York has been well documented, but now a TV documentary claims Prince Charles is trying to airbrush his damaging younger brother out of the future royal family. The Channel 5 documentary, The Royal Family at War, airing on Saturday, delves into the complicated relationship between the two royals, and claims that Charles is concerned about ruining the Queen's legacy. It's no secret that Charles, 70, wants a slimmed-down monarchy when he eventually takes the throne, with only his immediate family funded by the taxpayer. But in the documentary, royal insiders allege that in addition to financial considerations, Charles also has concerns over his brother's public image following scandals, including his friendship with a disgraced billionaire and his Ermel's Andy reputation. Charles is worried that Andrew's behavior at times is damaging the family firm, says royal biographer Penny Jr. There probably has been occasions where Prince Charles has considered Andrew to be a bit of a liability to the royal family, CNN royal commentator Victoria Arbiter adds. That image of Prince Andrew being the playboy at large rankles Prince Charles. He finds it embarrassing. She goes on to suggest that in order to follow into his mother's footstep, Charles must avoid any more scandals, and keep the most problematic members of the royal family at bay. Charles does not want to be responsible for ruining the Queen's legacy, she says. Dickie Arbiter, the Queen's former press secretary adds that Prince Charles will have been alarmed by previous newspaper reports about Andrew using the royal helicopter to go to play golf in Scotland, for instance. It would probably have grated on the Prince of Wales, because he is a firm believer that when you use public money you do the job and come home, there's no time for playing around, Arbiter says. If you want to play around, you do that quite separately and you pay for it, he added. Expanding on Charles' plans to focus the public eye on the core royal family, the Queen's biographer Ingrid Seward, says that this means there's no place for Andrew and his daughters Beatrice and Eugenie. I think Prince Charles feels there are too many of them, she explains. There's too many hangers-on, if you like. Victoria Arbiter adds. I think he needs a slimmed-down monarchy in order to remain relevant to future generations, because people do get frustrated with the so-called strap-hangers, the people that are being funded by the monarchy but dot do an awful lot. In 2012, during the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebration, only five people made it to Her Majesty's side on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles, his wife the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William and his wife Kate and Prince Harry. It was interesting, because the Queen is only the second monarch to have celebrated a diamond jubilee after Queen Victoria, says Victoria Arbiter. So you would expect to see the whole royal family on that balcony, it was a momentous occasion. There seemed to be a very clear message that this was the future, Penny Jr. adds. That going forward it would be the core family, and that was it.